I think it's time to go for a nice balloon ride. Because one of the first folk that we met by the forest, one of the drummers, um, asked us to get a, a painting of Narva, maybe we'll have like a really good view of Narva from the mountaintops. So, so we'll aim to do that when we get to the top. Um, we've got one canvas. I don't think I can craft any more. Uh, but there's a few paintings I can paint over, probably, that we don't really need. So, of course, we're going to jump on our bicycle. You're facing the wrong way, man. And then we're going to get on a balloon ride with Nessa. I've been looking forward to this. This kind of feels like a bit of a marquee moment. Um, <clears throat> we've got our coat. It's nice and early in the morning. <coughs> I'm coughing for no good reason. The turning circle on this bike is hilarious. I appreciate it, it makes it easier to manoeuvre. You don't really need to turn, you just need to look. It is time, Nessa! I've been looking forward to this. I think everyone who plays this game would look forward to this. Hopefully you're looking forward to it as well. Right, Nessa? Well, Traveller? Are you ready for that ride? Damn straight. That's the spirit! Hop in, pal! I think that that's a Witcher 3 voice actor as well. Come on, let's go. Are we actually uh, so hopefully we're going up there. Hopefully she's not just gonna do what she did when we did the painting. I can't move besides looking. So getting a painting here is not really on the cards. This is uh, quite a romantic journey, Nessa. <laughs> um, look at this, guys. Oh, this is so high up now. The restless reach. Thank you, Nessa. That was so beautiful. 
And it was a smooth ride. Golly, here we are. Even more spectacular than I always dreamed. Feel free to walk around and take in the sights. I'll take you back down when you're finished. Beautiful. So I saw a path going up there. That might give us a good view of Narva. Oh, the sky over here. We'll probably get to see the sunset as well. Beautiful. mountain path here. The sky looks amazing right now. Look how sharp the blue the blue is. Goodness me. Alright. Time for a painting, I think. There's the whole city in view. Hopefully it doesn't look as washed out as the draw distance does here. So the painting tends to look nicer. did not realise. The highest peak and the view from right. But I'll need to do a second one for the lad. I'm not sure that was the nicest painting, but yeah, stuff, stuff looks a bit nicer up close, I think. Wow. I don't, um, we'll maybe get a different painting for the lad then, for the raccoon boy. Yeah, one of the, the first folk. I think now would be a good time to do a little mountain biking. <sighs> Brace yourself! Ah! The audio stops when I stop. How strange. Right. Uh, there is another route I think we can go here. Yeah. Let's check this out. Oh, a hot spring. We need water, right? Hot spring. Uh, so we've got a vial, right? So that is one. That's one hot spring. So we're up here, somewhere. I don't know if this is how we get over to the other areas. 
But uh, we can only explore, right? Hopefully some music comes back on. <laughs> right, where else could we go? This fenced off here, so maybe it is blocked off. Yeah, it doesn't look like we can go any further. Yeah, it's all fenced off. I imagine that this is an invisible wall. Yep. Oh well. I'm gonna need some more canvases. We're pretty rich, so um, I'll just probably just buy a bunch. Oh, but it's it's the problem is inspiration, right? We've got to have enough inspiration. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to go anywhere else here. So there's a hot spring and there's a lovely view from up top. Let's just test the borders. Yeah. Okay, Nessa, it was beautiful up here, but there's not much, much for us to do, is there? Damn it. I was wondering if there was like some weird like mountain dweller town or something up here. Alright, I don't mind having another beautiful journey back. Are you ready to head back? Sure. I will not be skipping this journey. No, no, no. There will be no skipping. That, get that prompt off my screen. So maybe let's let's have a look over the northern side, see if we can get a hint into the locations of maybe some other hot springs or other key locations. Maybe we can see some of the windmills over on that side. I'm not really sure how we get over there at this juncture. I think there might be a zip line we can use to to get across the river. Obviously, the, uh, the draw distance is killing us a bit, so... I'll uh, double check the journal. I think the, the thing said he needs a painting that where you can see the whole city, which is why I wanted to do it from up there. But we've uh, walked a long way across this island when you actually look at it from a distance like this, right? It feels smaller when you do it on foot, but when you actually see how big it is, it's really awesome. Right, I suppose the next objective is to get over to the windmills and stuff, so... Oh, we'll have a little look through the, the journal. And see what, we've, what we could possibly do in Narva. There's something we need to do at night, I think, as well. That was awesome, Nessa. Thanks again for all your help. There's nothing so exciting as bringing people on a great adventure. Just let me know if you need another lift to the mountain top, pal. No worries, mate. Thank you. Right. So we've got two of these now. So we've got the highest peak and the giant tree. So the next, the, the last one is obviously getting atop the tower, which we're miles away from, and the Tiffmore Bluffs, which we can't access. We've not, we've not heard anything about the architect in terms of his location. Maybe he's in the north. Um, the Hoot, yeah, not really found anything of that. This is the first folk thing. Uh, a painting of Narva from afar to show the entire city. Um, yeah. The cat, we need to catch a specific fish. Not sure how we'll do that. Kai's quest isn't finished yet. Uh, the newspaper. So maybe we just need to visit him again. Um, the abandoned tower we need to go to at night, which we can do now that we've got our coat. 
Uh, a man on the beach. Yeah, we need to look, look, go back to the beach and look for someone's amulet. And the roots thing is connected to a few quests here. Uh, Melix elixir, we need to get all the different springs. Yeah, we need to go to the caverns and the elixir of life. Yeah. So I reckon I'm just going to go and do a quick visit. Oh. To Narva, we're going to race over there, buy some canvases for our travels, and then try and get to the northern section. What time is it? Three o'clock, so it doesn't really matter what time it is at this point. I do. I mean, the game isn't lit, lit particularly well at night, so it is difficult to do paintings at night. In terms of the painting we need for the lad, I think that this would probably probably be good enough. Like something like this. Um, I don't mind pa painting over one of these. Like this one's not very good. I think that like a simple straight on painting like this would be pretty cool. It's nice and broad. Not too much skybox. But... You know, as if he was visiting the city himself for the first time. There we go. That counts for the quest as well, so... Lovely. Lovely jubbly. Beautiful. Um, I think we need to visit him at night, though. After midnight, yeah. So, can't do that just yet. Hey, I forgot my bike. Right, so we'll buy some more canvases and then we'll head to the north and see if we can find a way across, basically. Uh, oh, and we need to visit the Tarnished Teapot at 7pm because that's when their perform performers are there. Either musicians or poets or or readers. So we need to make sure we do that. Because it's it's completely dead in there if, you, if it's not 7 o'clock. Hi there. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Welcome back. We've got plenty more patrons interested in your work. Right. So I'll buy five. Make myself a nice little chunk left over. And then we'll ride to the north! Men of the north! <laughs> right, so I'm not, we're not really sure if we can cross. sure that there was a zip line. Oh, there's a, an eastern tower as well. I forgot about that. This is the most dangerous bridge. <laughs> Look at it, man. Oh. Right, so... I need to basically check where all these zip lines go. Because we've not been down the eastern one. There. And that leads to the... the that... that uh, the western side of Narva. Which I don't think we've really seen just yet. So that's a good idea. I don't think we've been down to that particular side. 
that might help do might have, that might have something to do with the roots and you know zip lines are always fun aren't they oh maybe we could have come down here all along yeah I'm not sure. All right, I think this is where we could do the farm work, isn't it? To an outsider, this shady hillside might not seem like the best place to grow peas, but the farms of Novice East Side have been producing for hundreds of years. You see, East Shadian peas don't handle direct sunlight like the continental variety. Oh, look at me, talking your ear off about peas already. Say, if you're looking for things to see in this country, you should find your way out to the Teethmore Bluffs. There's some gorgeous farm country out there. When I was younger, I'd head out there all the time. These days, I find myself a bit too busy with my peas. Navian demand is higher than ever you know. By the way, if you need a few extra glowstones in your travels, I could use an extra pair of hands shucking some peas for market. I won't lie to you, though. It's tedious work. It okay. can really drain you. Can you tell me about the city? Well, I've never really given it much thought, to be honest. It's just the place I've always lived. I suppose I'll take it for granted a bit. It's a dreamy place to live, isn't it? All right, I'm not going to work right now. Can't go in his shed. I wonder how we get to the north then. Look at this. Yeah, I think I could have come here any time basically, but. All right, let's try and get out of here. Uh, to be fair, we could just wait for seven o'clock and go to the tarnished teapot. Where does this come out exactly? Oh yeah. yeah you, you poisoned yourself, I remember. And the rip-off merchants part that way. Suppose we can I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go for a kip for an hour. Let's have a little kip, a little rest. And then we'll enjoy the festivities at the tarnished teapot. I didn't rest till six AM, did I? All right, let's see what's going on, if anything. Who's tonight? The Sailor in the Sea. The tale. at seven. Come round, come round, oh. and hear the tale of lovers lost at sea. Come on, people. Every eve there was a man who drowned in a mug of mead, brave in summer east shades, coldest nights, to take up post in the famed lighthouse. 
He was awaiting his love, you see, making sure the light was always shining so she'd see her way back home. Years ago, his wife took to the seas, hoping to lay claim to a pile of sunken treasure. Twas the time of year when the storms grew more terrible with each passing week, but she swore it was the last time she'd take on such a risk. Although he hated to see her go, he stood at the dock and watched as she disappeared beyond the horizon. Twas the nature of their love, you see. They supported one another despite all odds. Well, the townsfolk thought him crazy. Ever since his wife was gone, he swore he heard his love cry out every nightly eclipse, wailing above the rockets of the sea. It was a near inhuman sound. Oh, oh. One night, the poor man couldn't take it anymore, believing his love to be so near, but seeming so far. He swore he saw her trapped on a patch of rocks away from the shore. He cried out to her, Alara, Alara! Oh, oh, was the reply. In his excitement, he hardly noticed the approaching storm. He tumbled down the hill from the lighthouse and took the first small fishing boat he found. That night, he sailed his fate. It wasn't long before the storm started raging, the waves higher and fiercer than they had ever been. Alara, he cried. Oh, the reply, nearly drowned out by the power of the sea. The man paddled Foster. He was so close, catching glimpses of her stranded on those sharp rocks. His heart ached, and in his desperation, he fell deaf and blind to the monstrous wave building above. Crashing down around him, the sea shattered his boat and sent the man deep below the surface. Waves swirled him round and round in a great salty tornado. He hardly knew which way was up. Just as his breath was fading away, a great flash of light burst through the sea. A light so brilliant, it shone through the ocean's darkest depths in a rainbow of color. The light faded and he couldn't believe his eyes. Alara was swimming straight for him. She pierced through the thrashing sea, and hundreds of small silvery fish swam round her in a cyclone. They swam faster and faster, the fish cyclone and tied her around, until they fused to her body, changing her legs into one great flipper. In this form, she swam with the grace of a dolphin, her flipper propelling her down to her sinking love. Just before he would have drowned, this beauty of the sea grabbed him by the waist and shot straight out of the water with him in tow. As he surfaced, he gasped an enormous breath of air. The townspeople who had heard his cries watch from the shore said it was the last time they ever saw of him. Away they swam, never to be seen again. That's what the optimists around here will tell you, and it's the version I choose to believe. There are others who say husband and wife were lost in the same patch of sea. The man was so overcome with grief, he sailed out to find her and was never seen again. Though these storytellers have a hint of optimism, they say that if you look at the nightly eclipse, you can see him reunited in those brief moments up in the heavens. Of course, if you hear a man yell at a Lara or see a pair of mere folk out at sea, you let me know. <laughs> awesome. Thank you for your tale. Uh, we, I think we might have missed the musician, which is a bit annoying. Maybe this will change tomorrow. Okay, so I think because it's night time, I guess we should, we can go to the tower by Lindo in near Old Lindo. So let's uh, bike over there. and see what mystery awaits us by the haunted tower. Yeah, of course, people do foolish things for love, right? Grief will make you 
hear things that aren't there, see things that aren't real. I suppose in many ways he was much happier being dead with her than being alive without her, right? I'm just going to see where these zip lines go. I don't think that this leads to the northern side. Yeah. How the hell do we get over there, man? <laughs> Take the zip line down to window anyway. Beautiful. Let's see if anything is happening at the tower. I don't know if this is technically night time yet, or if it's like dusk or something. The only downside to using the bike is uh, you can't really pick up resources. It's... oh, it's nearly 10 o'clock. What are you doing out so late? Oh! You first. Oh dear. I must ask that you tell no one about this. The information you have is already too close to uncovering the truth. I'm delivering supplies to... someone... who is hiding in the old tower. That hey. old tower was once used to communicate urgent messages to Nava using signal fires. Some years ago, the need for such a tower faded, and it fell to ruin. That old tower? Someone has taken up residence there. I suppose one could say this person is hiding out. It's the architect. I wish not to be bothered by anyone. And that's something I can relate to. It's the architect. Is Ingolf the guy from the cave? This person wishes to remain unknown, and I mean to respect their wishes. I help lock it up, and only I hold the key to enter. I deliver supplies at night. Why are they hiding? I think they feel that the world of people is no place for them. I'm not sure this is the right solution, but the choice is not mine to make. I do hope you decide to keep this a secret. <laughs> its exposure means nothing to you and everything to the one who draws in the tower. Um, is it the architect? Well, I suppose you've already connected the dots. Yes! If someone would guess it eventually. The one who draws in the tower is the architect of New Lingo. The one who designed the beautiful buildings. The one who has been missing for years now. Maybe this is for the best. Perhaps it's time someone talked to him. And maybe it's best if it's an outsider. I think, deep down, he doesn't want to be living in a town. He is rash, and he is proud. Would you talk to him? I'll leave the door unlocked for you. Thanks, Ingov. Appreciate it. <laughs> there you go, Ingov. <laughs> Am I trapped in here now? Oh, right. I'll steal his candle and his writing feather. <laughs> now he can't see and he can't write. Oh, Jesus. Hello there, friend. Who are you? How did you get in? Azad. It's very dark here, mate. 
we could do with a torch. Ingov, let me in. I presume the old man told you why I'm here? Why I've chosen to live in this tower of solitude? Not really, why? When I lived in Lindau, I was an outsider. For a time, I considered moving far away to a new city, where no one would know me. But I came to learn that I would be an outsider wherever I went. Mm. Look at my face! It makes children cry. All oh, right, you had to speak. Before I left, I was the subject of chronic nightmares for one child. Her father showed her a new route to school, so she could avoid passing me. Estranged from all others in this tower, I am an outsider. But living in the town, I am an outsider all the same. At least here in my tower, I won't fuel the nightmares of children. I think you're being a bit harsh on yourself. I dedicated my life to becoming a great architect. For half a century, I labored at this. I built the city they live in. And how do the people of Lindau know me? I am the disfigured architect. The townspeople don't appreciate what I've done. They dwell in the marvel of my life's work. You have a bad personality. Why? Huh? Well, he... Feels like he's been stigmatized, right? Yeah. He's more projecting the harsh opinion that he has of himself onto everybody else, right? Someone wrote a book about you? Really? Yes, they admire you. What did it say of me? <laughs> it's about your accomplishments as an architect. So, someone's finally taken notice of my talent? Well, <laughs> that is interesting. That changes everything. <laughs> it's about time. This conversation, it was almost enjoyable. <laughs> Perhaps I'll see you again. Yes, my friend, now, is that? I'm afraid it's late. Or early, I should say. I don't believe I invited you into my house. All right. Cool. Perhaps it got lost in the subtlety. What I meant was, please leave it's so easy to push him off being so rude <laughs> i'm only joking um uh, maybe he'll show up at the inn tomorrow perhaps that's good as long as he doesn't talk to ian fleming he'll probably consider him a villain of james bond right that's the that's the one really annoying thing. How like in James Bond, like every all the all the major villains have to have a, a facial or physical dis disfigurement or whatever, and that's like a defining trait of the villains. It's just kind of uh, tacky, right? Just yeah. Right. What's our, uh, okay. I just don't know how we're supposed to get over here, dude. Is there a boat or something? Maybe if we can... Oh, yeah. Yeah, what time is it? Yeah, so I think by the, if, we, if we're to cycle over to... Um, what's the lad's name? Uh, Alejo, yeah, at the mirror. Uh, it should be midnight by the time we get over there. And then maybe he'll give us a boat or something? That seems like quite an important quest, so... And then maybe we can get over to the other side as a result. Because the, 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 the forest is like the closest thing to that house on the lake and to the northern section, so... I still can't craft my raft, though, for me and Bojan. Right, let's schlep over there. He's not on his raft anymore. He's asleep. 
the easiest way to get there this way. Oh yeah, I guess if we make a raft. Yeah, what am I talking about? If we make a raft, we'll be able to float over there. I guess that's the whole point of the sea of finding the sealant, isn't it? How stupid am I? Yeah. We need to complete Bojan's quest before we can go over to the other side, right? Of course, of course. Oh yeah, this is the... Uh, the keeper, the, the ra forest ranger's hut. I forgot about that. Oh god. Right, nearly time. Let's see if he gets there early, you know, you never know. Yeah, so... I don't know how we're going to discover this secret about the roots, then. Proved difficult. Five minutes to pick some mushrooms. I wonder if he just walks over here. Where are you, lad? Oh, hey. Hello again, my sky friend. Yes. I hope you're well. I myself was just having a nice think under the stars. I was dreaming about what it would be like to live up here. It must be nice to always have the sky above. I do like home. The halls are warm, and everyone I love is there. True. But the sky speaks to me. Have you had the chance to make a painting of the big city? Of course. Here you go. Ah, it is beautiful. Your people's buildings are incredible. I am sorry, I don't have any of your kind of money. My people use something we call Egra. I don't know how it's called in your tongue. Okay. I'm still learning your language from Mudwillow. It is rock where animal has died. It is living like a print. In the rock? Okay. Oh, a fossil, right. Fossil? Yes, the fossil of a snail we use. What do your people use? Glowstones? Glowstones? We have lots of this. <laughs> the rock of our home is rich with them. I can give you. You know, I would really like if you came to meet my people. You are a nice person. Thank you. <laughs> I think meeting you would help them see that outsiders are nothing to be scared of. Will you... Come with me to meet my people. I can show you my home and get you some glowstones. I don't need the money, but sure. Uh, forgive me, but I'm going to have to ask to blindfold you. Yeah, fair enough, mate. As much as I consider you a friend, my kin would not appreciate disclosing the way to our home. I will guide you. It's not far. Is that acceptable? No worries. Watch your step. This way. Not much further now. We have arrived. Please, wait here just one moment. I went ahead and told most of the others that you're coming, so they won't get too startled. I've let them know you're completely friendly, but some of my people may still be alarmed. Please, pay no mind to any strange looks. This way, if you please.
Wow, look at this. Well, this is our home. What do you think? It's beautiful. Oh, that will make us all feel very proud when I tell the others. I am glad you like it. We have been expanding for many generations now. We believe, as your own scholars do, that we Mahra were indeed the first folk to settle here. Our legend has it that the great sea captain Ilanit and her crew landed here after being lost at sea for 1,000 days without food or water. How? <laughs> it's probably a bit exaggerated. Yeah. But I do think Ilanit was a real person and truly fearless. She braved the ocean after all. I can think of nothing more terrifying than this. Yeah, I did by accident. No, really? The sky speaks to me, but the ocean? No, 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 no. Yeah, but we sank on the way in. Wow. Well, I'm glad you made it, so that we could find each other and become friends. <laughs> well, here is some glowstones. Ah, that's all right. I hope that's sufficient. I truly am glad to have met you. You have taught me so much. I was thinking, one day... I may want to go from here, go into the world, just to see. Do you think the Skyfolk would welcome me? Yeah, definitely. Oh, that would be incredible. But I'm not ready yet. One day. I think your visit here will go a long way with my people. Now that they've seen you, a perfectly friendly one, it will plant the seed of acceptance. I dream that one day the Mahra can be friendly with the Skyfolk. I feel both our cultures would be richer. Yeah. Me too, mate. Okay. I'll let you look around a bit. Then I'll take you back. Thanks, Alejo. Alright, guys. I'm going to leave that one there. We'll have, a, we'll have a little explore around this whole other world down here. As everyone cowers away from looking at us. <laughs> Awesome. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. We did the balloon ride. We've come down underground in contrast. So leave me a like if you enjoyed it. And just remember, everyone, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.